right, so this is the 50 cal by Engine Hawk, um, as the title says, but this is the jacket fresh out of the box um, with the level one back insert installed because you have to put that one in yourself, but then the elbow and shoulder pads are currently in and arrived to you already installed. Um, so then if you want to install the level two, or you have to buy that and then put the level two stuff in yourself. Um, so yeah. This is, so in this video, I'm gonna wear it fresh out of the box. Uh, I'm gonna take everything out just so you can kind of get a comparison there. And then I'm gonna put the level two shoulder and elbow pads in. And then I will also go ahead and throw a hoodie on because I usually ride with a hoodie in like the mornings or late evenings um, just to kind of have that extra layer. If you're like me and didn't get the uh, thermo bomber or thermo vest to go with the jacket um, and just, you know, have a favorite hoodie that you like to wear because sometimes it's just easier that way. Um, so <clears throat> this is the jacket itself. So I'll do unzipped and then zipped and then do a spin just so you can kind of get an idea of each section. So um, pretty solid range of motion. Um, you know, I do have it unzipped, so that's a little unfair, but whatever. And go ahead and I don't know if I'm the only one that struggles with zippers, but it's not always my strongest suit. So, and then one of the things that I notice with these zippers is that you have to have them lined up perfectly. Otherwise they get an attitude and then snag on you and then you look weird. Um, so one of the things that I'm noticing with this one as it is zipped up is that the uh, collar like wants to really dig into my Adam's apple, but um, I'm sure that will change once like, I wear it and break it in a little bit. But, um, I like the length of this one better, um, so I also have a Hawkeye UV, and the Hawkeye UV seems to come up a little bit further, but the length of this is a little bit nicer, um, and a more natural riding position, it looks like it will um, cover me a little bit better than the Hawkeye does, um, so here's that. And then, go ahead and do that, and solid range of motion, like, honestly, like, way more than I would ever really want to do in a motorcycle jacket. Um, it's nice to have that flexibility because I know sometimes you like walk around with like a Michelin man. <laughs> so that was the jacket fresh out of the box with the level ones installed. Um, and again, these zippers, like I see it, literally once they come out of being like completely vertical, they're impossible to move. So engine hawk, if you see this, look at the zippers because the zippers uh, could use some work. But so now we'll go ahead and do with nothing in it. And <laughs> all right. Uh, this is the jacket now with no armor in it at all. Um, now that I've had the chance to like, wear a couple jackets with and without armor, it is a little bit more noticeable when the armor's not in there as far as like weight goes. Uh, especially in this one, I feel like I feel like the Hawkeye it felt pretty closer to being the, to the same, but this is uh, noticeably lighter. But still, um, whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just an observation, um, to, for, in my opinion. So do a quick spin for you. Okay, and we'll go ahead and zip it up. Again, this is with no armor at all. Range of motion, still really good. Um, and then, again, yeah, this, like, I, I'm assuming this is because it's like fresh leather that like crumples the way it does, but it still, the rise is there. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get used to living this in my left hand. I'm not used to that yet. <laughs> and now we'll go ahead and put the level two armor in. <laughs> All right, uh, this is the uh, level two armor now installed. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed now that I've tried the level two in both jackets is that it's definitely um, has a bit more of a, a raise to it than the level one because when the level one is in, um, I feel like it's more flush and then now that I have the level two stuff in, I feel like the um, bike chain coat hanger, like I can feel it on my neck where I can't when I have the level one. Um, so I think the shoulder pads are causing a little bit more of a rise which gives the uh, chain a chance to kind of hang on my neck. So that's something that I've, something very minute that I just picked up on. But again, here's the level two. I'll shut up and <laughs> do a quick turn. And we'll go ahead and zip her up. It's 
still not used to zipping up with my left hand. So yeah, I don't really notice an incre increase or decrease in range of motion. Still, any actions that I would ever want to do while wearing a motorcycle jacket and more are available with a level two gear. So there's that. And now I will go ahead and put a hoodie back on. Uh, like I said earlier, if you're like me and didn't get the thermal stuff and you just like to ride with hoodies, like I like the aesthetic of it too. So dual purpose for me, but I'll shut up and here we go. All right, and now uh, this is with the hoodie on. Um, again, noticeably warmer, um, still very comfortable though, and definitely something that I'll be doing on the regular. And zipped up. Do throw the hoodie on to make sure you get it <clears throat> out of the way so because the little catch on the zipper um but again um just like i was saying um before this uh is a normal length hoodie that i would normally wear so um again these jackets are a motorcycle cut um so they're a bit shorter um than a casual jacket or a fashion jacket if you want to call it that um so it does there's about we'll call that two to three inches of space from where a casual jacket would be. So that the rise, as you can see, is, is, is there. But again, very comfortable um, and something that I'll probably be doing very often. Still have very solid range of motion for anything you could ever want or should be doing in a motorcycle jacket, um, but that's it. Uh, Again, this was the uh, 50 cal motorcycle jacket from Engine Hawk. Um, and again, if you're like me and couldn't really make up your mind on which jacket you wanted to get um, and just, you know, didn't really get enough um, of an idea through the pictures and some of the other videos that you may have seen. I also did one on the Hawkeye, so check below with, with what jacket you got. And then uh, subscribe if you like my content because there's going to be a lot more of it. Um, as far as Engine Hawk goes, I'm going to do some reviews with that. Um, but we'll see you in the next one.